This is part nine of completing the residential heat loss and heat gain worksheet. In this video, we're going to look at determining the air leakage multipliers. The first step in determining the air leakage multipliers is to tally up all of the individual losses for each level. So any room that was in level one would be added up and in, 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 um, input here. The total of all rooms on level two would be put here and the total of all rooms on level three would be put here. The entire heat gain for the, for the whole house is added up and placed in this box. From here, you need to go to the heat loss uh, and heat gain multiplier table. And you'll notice that the three numbers from page three of the worksheet get transferred into the heat loss multiplier table right here. This is level one, level two, level three. You'll also note that the building heat loss that you calculated in this step, 4802, is actually input in this, in this table right here. Then you need to go to your heat loss manual, and I believe it is uh, table nine, and you will find the level factors appropriate for a three-level house that's a basement with two floors above. In this case, you're going to have 0.5 for the level one, 0.3 for level two, and 0.2 for level three. The equation works like this. You take, for level one, you're going to take 0 0.5 times 4802 divided by 3769. That gives you a heat loss multiplier of 0.637. And you want to carry four decimal places here. Continue with the same process using the different numbers, 0 0.3 times 4, 4802 divided by 9634 gives you 0.1495. And for the, sec or for the third level, 0 0.2 times 48 point, uh, sorry, 4802 divided by 8639 to give us a multiplier of 0 0.1112. And you follow the same process for the cooling. You take the cooling air leakage that you found here, substitute it into the equation, divide by the total heat gain of the building, and we get a uh, air leakage multiplier of 0 0.0115. Those multipliers are then transferred back onto page three in the air leakage section, row, <coughs> excuse me, row 11. And you'll note that level one is here, level two is there, and level three is there, and your heat gain multiplier is there. Then in order to use the heat gain multipliers, you would simply take the um, heat losses of each, the conductive heat loss for level one times the multiplier for level one, and you would keep, you would uh, indicate that on your worksheet. So, if we look at the basement, this is the total heat loss for the basement. So 3769 times the multiplier 0 0.637 equals 2401. This is the 
amount of air leakage that we will get in the basement. And you do the same thing for the, uh, for the heat gain. Only this time it's 126 times the 0.0115 to give us a heat gain of 2. For the kitchen, the kitchen is in level 2. So you're going to use the level 2 multiplier. And so we've got 3402 times the level 2 multiplier, 0.1495, and that gives us 509 BTUs. For the heat gain, you're going to use the your, your total here, in this case 1703, times the heat gain multiplier of 0 0.0115, and we get 20. Now, if you look at your third floor rooms, then uh, we can see here, here's the master bedroom. The master bedroom is on level three. So you have to use the level three multiplier so in this case, you've got 2727 times 0 0.1112 to give you a heat loss of 303. The heat gain would be, in this case, 1236 times the multiplier of 0 0.0115. And just if we looked at another room, say bedroom four, <clears throat> bedroom four, is on level three. So again, you'll use the level three multiplier. So 2019 times 0 0.1112 gives us 22, uh, sorry, 224 BTUs. And the heat gain, 1072 times the multiplier, 0 0.0115 would give us a heat gain of 13. You would carry this process through for all the different rooms on each level. Just make sure that you multiply the heat loss of a level 2 room by the level 2 multiplier and the heat loss of a level 3 room by the level 3 multiplier.